Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and it's all about harmonics today. I'm going to look at examples on all of the training platforms that we produce the auto harmonic uh, pattern software for. Uh, the first is TradeStation 10 and I'm going to go through, I'm going to repeat the same rules each time uh, just so it's, it's pretty clear. Uh, again, the harmonic pattern software is part of that day trading or crypto trading bundle that we also produce because we look for confirmations as well. So this is the trade station. Uh, some things to note. Uh, if the harmonic pattern prints in red, you're looking for a result in trade. The next thing, it labels the pivots, A, B, C, D. And then also it labels the type of harmonic pattern. As you can see the top left here, it says bat pattern. One of the most important things is this automated completion zone here. We are looking for this D pivot to complete in this completion zone somewhere. Now some are fat, some are quite thin, uh, depending on uh, the overlaps. These work on overlaps for both fib retracements or fib extensions of that harmonic pattern. So it gives you a sweet spot where it should complete, and then the resulting trade is higher probability. So in this case here, we had the bat pattern complete. The two pink lines you see here, that's called our EMA cloud. One of the things we like to see uh, here is um, a good close below there. But another thing we look at is this A and the C pivot here, really going short below those pivots is sensible, but we have to also consider our divergence cloud you can see the divergence cloud starting to turn red here and even more so here see the big red dot there that indicates as bearish momentum bear down you know when you when you're trading this the stop loss is above the D pivot here this is where your stop is it never comes to test it you know and aggressive entries after this red dot when we get the close so our entry is you know around about 4197 here this is ES uh, and it just keeps going down, 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 down. And then we start to see the divergence cloud turning green. Comes to test the EMA cloud and that's the time to take your profit and get out. Excuse the bells, that's just um, alerts coming in on crypto. Uh, so that's the trade station version. That's what it looks like. We've got that harmonic pattern software there. It's complete in the completion zone. I'm also on all of these examples looking at the overall bundle package which includes other indicators as well but the main focus today is on the rules for these harmonics of when they complete and when to enter so let's have a look at the next version okay so this is the think or swim version something extra that we are able to do on think or swim is give you a script for a watch list to give you alerts now I've just had the Gartley pattern um, start to form on the three minute for 6C, okay, the Canadian dollar. We can see here that we've had this initial move down, we've come back to test the pivot, and now we're down here. So this isn't a trade yet, but what we're looking for is this Gartley pattern. It's red, we're looking for resulting trade. We're looking, now we've had that alert, we are indeed looking for that Gartley pattern to complete in the projected completion zone. Now this may not have finished on this pivot yet, but we've been alerted to it in our watch list. It's printing as each candle closes on this three minute time frame. And we are just prepared and waiting to see if this pivot halts and we move back up, complete in this completion zone, then we're looking for a short on the Canadian dollar futures there. One that's already gone, I wanted to show you this one, is on the five minute on uh, copper. So again, this alert uh, came out. Let's just close that up a little bit. So we get the back pattern complete. In the automated completion zone, and then we're looking for the long Again, sensible entries above either this pivot or this pivot, but really, you know, you are looking for a close above this pivot point as well, uh, this EMA cloud as well. So we do get that, uh, and we get that quite strongly. So our entries above this pivot here on this uh, copper futures resulted, you know, the bat pattern, it 
you know it says it's backed it's colored in green you're looking for result in bullish trade completes in the auto completion zone here we are looking for a move up and a close above the EMA cloud this is in pink in this one uh, and you know entry above uh, also above these pivots and it just goes it for alpha leather and then we use the EMA cloud to manage this trade we haven't had a close below this and we are live right now so this is the trade here on copper where on the on the five minute we got this back pattern complete in the automated completion zone conservative entry making sure we get a close up above this EMA cloud and also uh, we're looking for an entry above this top pivot here and then it breaks then we're using this EMA cloud we're looking for a close below we haven't had one yet we're still in this trade so let's have a look at another platform example okay so this is the MT4 platform a lot of traders use this um, throughout the world and the automated um, zone this is on the 30 minute time frame for Australian dollar US dollar uh, so a forex pair we can see the red bat pattern is complete now we've seen a lot of bat patterns here we did see a Gartley earlier uh, it just depends what it is it automatically labels what it is and it's just that recently there's been a lot of bat patterns it's colored it in red it's completed in the automated completion zone we're looking for a short we want it to go through the EMA cloud it does do we get the divergence cloud print in red 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 arrow in this case and remember on trade station it was a red dot and then we look to go short down here see this is a great short trade these are fib zones that we can switch on or off on the uh, for targets for this for this move and then again the we get little red arrows print here uh, these are sort of telling you to tighten your stops look to get out um, because the divergences are coming back together again and they may go bullish the bullish cloud goes green time to get out there so that's the NT4 version they work all the same they just look a little different because platforms look a little different let's have a look at another version okay so this actually is the one minute on oil on the motive wave platform uh, again same rules apply this time it's a Gartley pattern we're scalping we're using harmonics it completes in the automated completion zone up here it's colored in red it's labeled in red you're looking for a bearish resulting trade uh, we are looking for the short the divergence cloud starts to turn red so that's giving that confirmation of that trade we get a close below the EMA cloud we go short we're scalping we get a six star sell also on the expert algo there part of that bundle to give us that real big confirmation and it moves down massively here comes back test the EMA cloud get out a close above or when the divergence cloud starts the red cloud disappears and you get these little up red arrows telling you to either fade out or just get out totally uh, there would be a great scalp using that harmonic pattern this time on the motive wave version but again the rules are still the same it labels it it colors it in red if it completes in that automated completion zone you go short so let's have a look at another example this time it is the trading view platform version and look looking at uh, we've looked at Forex we've uh, looked at futures now we're looking at um, crypto this is uh, Litecoin USD on the hourly time frame we get the bat pattern complete in the automated completion zone you can see that there we're then looking for the long trade remember we want to get above the EMA cloud first this is the divergence cloud here and our entry is going to be a really um, above this C pivot or the A pivot to be conservative here and then we manage the trade so entry aggressive around about 235.43 just above this C pivot and outside the EMA cloud or a bit more conservative above the A pivot there around 242.12 and then we look to trade this all the way up looking to get a management with this uh, EMA cloud but then we get an expert algo once this profits taken here to go long again and we take another trade on there so again trading view platform uh, the auto harmonic pattern is versatile but the same rules apply 
Um, wait for it to complete. It's got to complete in that automated completion zone. It's colored in green telling you if you're looking for resulting trade. And then with the, um, the day trading or the crypto trading bundle, we are looking for that move through the EMA cloud first and then looking at these pivots for those entries. Um, so that's the trading view version. Now one more final version. Okay, so this is the Ninja Trader version. Looks more colourful on this one, I must admit. Um, and that's, no, Ninja Trader's got a, a great, great platform as well as the others. Uh, we see the the red butterfly pattern here completes outside of the completion zone. So we're not looking for that short. Remember, the rules still apply. Then we get the bat pattern complete. It's coloured in green. We're looking for a bullish resulting trade. It completes in the automated completion zone. We're looking for the long. The divergence cloud starts to really come in green here, telling we've got bullish divergences, volatility is bullish, and this is the way to go. We're going long. We get, you see the green arrow here, the up arrow, that's the confirmation on there. So, you know, again, entries can be aggressive when we get all that confirmation from the divergence cloud or more conservative above these pivots. In, in either case, we came to test the EMA cloud, failed, it didn't take us out the trade, and then we look at a six star buy signal on the expert here to give us, uh, to get us in some more. This is MYM, the micro um, Dow contract. So we had this big move up, uh, starts to peter off, but the divergence cloud still stays green. The six star buy comes in then on the expert algo telling you to add contracts and you go long again and it just keeps going. You know, so this again using that bundle, but again, all of this started with the diver the divergence cloud giving us confirmation after this bat pattern completed. Remember, we didn't go short on the previous butterfly pattern purely because it completed outside the completion zone. The short was short lived, if you excuse the pun. Uh, the more the stronger pattern was the divergence cloud starting to turn to green, the back pattern completing the completion zone, and then we go hell for leather. So what I'm just going to do is going to go back because we've done futures, we've looked at crypto, we looked at forex. I just want to go back to the motive wave version and just look at a stock on the um, harmonics as well. Okay, so back to the motive wave version. Uh, it's, it works for stocks and all the other time frames uh, on all the other platforms. Sorry, but I just wanted to go through this one because it's quite interesting in that we had a bat pattern didn't complete in the automated completion zone. It failed, and it put failed to push through our EMA cloud. <coughs> Excuse me. So it looks really strong. This EMA cloud on this move down on Baidu four hour time frame. Right now, this is where we are. The markets are closed. I'm making this video on uh, during the European morning. The the previous four hour pivot, D pivot, has completed in that automated completion zone. Interestingly, now we made a slightly new low. So when the markets open today, that D pivot will adjust to here. So right now, this is just setting up. We're in that completion zone. Is the question you should be asking yourself: Is that going to find support and start to move? up is as, as the rundown on Baidu uh, ended is the support going to be there so right now it should just be on your watch list and then just keep an eye on it every time a four handle close four hour candle closes what's happening now what's happening now if it starts to move away after completing in this completion zone you'd look to enter above the EMA cloud or conservatively above this pivot here so Again, just wanted to show you that on a different platform uh, with stocks now. So we've covered multiple instruments on multiple time frames on multiple trading platforms. But the main thing is the automated harmonic pattern software is simple. It does it all for you. But the rule is very, very strict. It must complete in that automated completion zone. And then you've got to look at that EMA cloud for that entry strategy or the, the you know it's got to get through there first but then also you know use the X brand in the bundle or the divergence cloud to give you that confirmation uh, so hopefully 
this helps it shows you the diversity uh, and the you know all the different platforms that we develop for and we're trying to make things look as similar as possible obviously we're restricted with um, what uh, platform codes there are but it works in the same way it follows the same rules and all the traders should follow our simple rules uh, in that it must complete in the completion zone and then look for those simple entry strategies that we make lots of videos on hopefully that helps and I'll speak to you all really soon.